Max Performance. Believe. Achieve. Excel. Hey, um, thanks for having me. No, thanks for joining us. So I wanted to start off with your world of football. You've been playing for a long, long time now, uh, since you was at school, which obviously you end up playing for the school team. It was a great mm -hmm. opportunity for you because it so happened that your coach was the development scout. So just tell us a bit about that and how it got you kick-started in world of football. Um, so obviously, like you said, I've been playing football since school, but it's been literally from as far as I can remember. So, um, you know, as of two, three, I was, I was kicking the ball around, obviously just for fun. Then when I went to primary school, it's something that I continue to do just as a hobby. Um, mainly, you know, I loved football growing up and everyone around me used to play football as well, like my older brother and just people in the area that were my friends who used to play football. So um, I've done that in primary school, um, something that I thoroughly enjoyed. And then one of the coaches, uh, the school team, like you said, was a development scout for Charlton Athletic. So as the years went on, it got to about year six, uh, when we started to play more competitively. And he advised that I went to this development centre off a chart and athletic. So that's what I've done. And I believe you had a two week trial there, didn't you, for Wiccan Wanderers? You ended up playing for them after you was a little later after that. What happened to you then? Yeah, yeah. So obviously I went to the development centre at Charlton. We ended up playing Charlton Academy. And then uh, a scout from Charlton then said I should go there on trial. I went there for a couple of months, but I didn't get in. Um, then I went back to, I think I was in year seven at the time. I went back to playing Sunday league football. Um, then I had another trial at QPR, which I didn't get into either. But then one of the scouts that was originally at, Ch at Charlton moved on to Wickham Wanderers and remembered me from there and told me that, obviously gave my dad a call and said that he thought it was wise if I came down there and had a trial. At Wickham Wanderers and then I got in to Wickham Wanderers and I haven't looked back since. So that's how you uh, managed to get your way into the football then. So obviously that must have been quite interesting at a young age to obviously go for twice. You was obviously turned down. Um, what was mm. that like and did you really think much into it obviously with you being quite young or was your family just kind of like brushed it off and you got back to playing your Sunday league football? Um, with Charlton... To be honest, I really didn't, it didn't bother me at all because I had a couple of friends that were there at the time. Uh, they went to my school as well, but I didn't really enjoy it there. Um, I didn't feel comfortable there for some reason. Mm -hmm. So when I got told that I never got in, I didn't mind at all. But then when I went to QPR, I had re a really good trial. So I thought, yeah, I'm definitely getting in here. And all the parents as well used to say to my dad, oh, he's got no no problem, they might as well sign him now because of how well my child was going and parents could watch those times as well. I used to watch the sessions and obviously rate him. So when I got told that I wasn't getting into QPR, it was a bit of a, kick, a, bit of a kick in the teeth. But, you know, again, I didn't worry too much because I was very young at the time and I knew that I'd go back to the Sunday League and another opportunity would probably come along. I just didn't know when. And obviously I was looking forward to when that time did come. And then 